Hey all, welcome back to Fuzzy Dutchy Gaming and the first video on the channel around 3.18. Thought I'd start bringing these videos out now in preparation as a few people have been asking, you know, what I do for League Start, is the build going to be viable still? You know, lots of questions. So what I thought these videos could be is really what I spend my time doing when I'm not working and on the game, when I'm not playing current league, what am I doing when I practice for League Start? Because people think League Start practice is just how quickly can you get through the axe? But it's way more than that. Um, league start is really nothing to do with how quickly you get through the axe unless you want to be the first person to kill X or the first person to get here. Because just because you get through the campaign quickly, that doesn't mean it sets your character up for a good league start. What if you rush through to maps, you kill Guitarva, and then you're stuck in white maps for two hours because you build crap? Or you've got no resistances, no life, no damage. So you've got to spend ages farming or buying gear. So the way I simulate a league start is what I wanted to cover off in this video. And the way I like to do it is I play in trade. So because I play in trade, I don't want to do a full SSF run. I have done in the past, but they take ages because it might be I've got to farm for two days to get a six link. And this is practice. I don't want to do that because then I'm burnt out by the time I actually come to play the league. So what I do, I start a character in SSF. So let's say I wanted to play like, I don't know, a juggernaut. I'll go and start that character. I'll run it all the way through to killing Kitava in the campaign. Then once you get to the bit where you would speak to Kirak, I migrate the character to trade. The reason I do that is because I want to simulate a trade environment where I want to be able to buy stuff if I've got the money to progress my character. Um, so as you can see, I've had a few practice characters, um, mainly following what some other people have been doing. So Palsron did um, a Scourge Ballista one. Um, this is based on Havoc's early bows, is Grimrose Corrupting Fever. Tried loads of different builds. So this was my Lightning Strike one. Ignore the name. This was going to be me attempting to go through on a non-crit variant. It was shit. Don't do it. So I migrate the character whatever level I might be at, 65. But what I will do, as I say, is not all about just getting through the campaign quickly. When I get to maps, I want to be able to map kill bosses in a few seconds, clear the map quickly, and actually have fun. So I will spend however long it takes. It's normally half an hour to an hour, either heisting or in uh, foothills, farming for gear or farming for stuff that I can sell to get gear, whether that be, you know, cluster jewels or um, unveils, anything. Anything that's going to get me money to get my character onto its five link and onto lightning strike. So I'll migrate the character. And what will happen is your stash will come over here. It will be hidden because it will be remove only. All I will do is go into the currency tab and take out currency. I don't care about anything else. If I've got any essences, they're going to be low level. There's nothing on here that's going to be any good unless I've got a unique that's worth a few chaos at least. Up. I'll pull that through. So once I've done that, it's a case of I'm now on my trade account that I've killed all the bosses with. I've got all of the passive points. I've got all my league mechanics like fully juiced and all that sort of thing. So how do I go about simulating a league start? You can't do it 100%, but you can do it to the point where you can be confident that you are not cheating it. You're not saying, oh, uh, oh, this is 10x, this Farrell's first 10x, I'm going to buy it. So this is the way I'll go about doing it. I will have four tabs. I will have one for my specific character in terms of any gear that I want to put in there. I will have this is called an essence farm tab because that's what I wanted to concentrate on in white maps. Rush to essences, then I set my tab here to have essence as the affinity so that when I dump essences anywhere in my stash, they're going to go in here so I can keep an eye on how much currency I'm making. I do the same for maps because that's the one thing that's difficult to simulate a league start is maps. Like, because a lot of people, when they test, which is fine to test how good a character is. You just go into your maps and say, right, I'll do a white map. Now I've got a five link, I'll do a yellow map. But I like to try and simulate it as much as I can. So I will only use the maps that I've farmed and got in this tab. And then lastly, I have a dump tab. And then for this, I set every other affinity. So now I know that nothing's going to automatically go into any of my other inventory slots. Also, nothing's going to come out of them. So as long as you don't have your currency tab in your first five or six, it's not going to auto buy stuff from the vendors, which is why I've got currency down here. And that's how I simulate it. I then go and waste money because it's trade. I don't need the money. I don't play standard. 
I then reset my whole atlas tree because it's very unfair if you've got like 200% higher chance to drop maps. And then I will take these void zones out, reset the atlas tree, and then you're pretty much good to go. I'm not going to do league mechanics like Alva um, Syndicate. I'm not going to do because I've got the unlocks, but obviously at league start you would do it. So I don't need to worry about like, I'm not going to touch Delve. I'm only going to do Kirat missions as I get them. And realistically, these will be what I got because I wouldn't have any, had any white missions left um, on my Atlas because I wouldn't have run white missions forever. Um, and that's what I do. So once I've reset my tree, I then look at, right, it's League Start. I need to make some money. Where do I go? So for the last playthrough, I just rushed Essences because you can get all of the Essence nodes with just your white map completions. So that's what I did. It's very hard to do your map completion properly because you have to kind of make a note of what maps you've run and no one can be asked to do that. So all I did was I've run a map, I'll give it a point. And then once I run the T1 maps, I obviously won't allocate any more points to T1. Then I'll run T2s, T3s. And essentially once I've done say 50 maps, I'll say that's probably realistic that I've now unlocked 30, 35 passive points to get my essence nodes unlocked. And then I'll concentrate on what farming I want to practice. And it was essences. So I thought, right, essences are worth tons of money. Map level doesn't matter that much. Yes, you get more likely to get lower essences at lower level, but you still get the higher level essences as well. And that's what I'll do. So I'll farm for two hours, got my essences, priced them on Peary Ninja against day one prices, which you can do. Worked out that I'd say 120 chaos and then bought 120 chaos worth of gear at league start prices so that's counting an uncorrupted six link at 75 chaos a shitty shield at 10 c the reason i'm able to do it really well with the lightning strike build is because i played it last league i know exactly how much stuff costs doesn't mean it's what it's going to cost this league but it gives me it's the best i can do so all i did was farm enough currency to get my six link my shield and an amulet with an anointment and then I used leftover essences that I weren't selling, so the lightning ones, to craft my shield. And then every other item is crafted with essences that wouldn't sell. And that's it. So these gloves are the only things I didn't have um, when I did my first pass on the essences. I just had normal gloves, so I had Ancestral Call in my links. These gloves are just to simulate a pair that you would roll with the Eldritch uh, modifiers. So you just spam loads of these until you got your plus one strike. These were 1x to buy on day one or two at league start. So I didn't have these because I didn't have enough currency left. So what I did with my six link ancestral call was that was enough to push into yellow maps. Got more map completion. Again, once my map sustain was fine, I just farmed loads of maps I wasn't going to use. Get the essence, get out, sell them, made an X, got my gloves, and that's it. And then I just pushed on through um, to red maps. And then, yeah, got the character up to a point where it can kill Conquerors pretty easily. And that's it. That's all I did. And for this build, it was about 12 hours. And I did go at it hard, though. Like I wasn't quick through the campaign. I think I was five and a half hours because I did some farming uh, in Foothills. And I did it in two sessions. Like, if I was to do 12 hours in one stint, the last four hours would probably be the most unproductive time ever. Because I can't play for that long. I lose concentration. I get bored. I get tired. So this playthrough, I did the uh campaign run then i did about an hour and a half mapping to get away from the horrible spectral helix then as soon as i got my light strike set up i turned it off went to bed started again the next day did another six hours and the character's now level 88 it's comfortable doing tier 16s and that for me would be a super super successful league start so people are going to say oh essences might get nerfed what about this what about that i can only go with what the environment is at the moment and essences is what i did last league i literally ignored map nodes i just rushed to essence nodes because i didn't care about atlas progression past the point of unlocking all the essence nodes because i didn't want to waste too many nodes on map sustain because that means i've got to push higher maps to get those completions i only need to unlock these and i can farm them in white maps and that's what i did last league I just farmed map after map after map. Didn't care what dropped in terms of the map, what it was, what tier it was. Didn't alk it, didn't transmit it, just chucked it in. Map, essence, boss, done within like a minute and a half. And I made an absolute ton of currency on day one doing that. And I'm going to do exactly the same again. Now, if essences gets 
absolutely obliterated to the point where I'm like, mm, not sure I want to do it. There's other stuff you can do. You can go here to get breach. Um, like literally, there's tons of those. You go breach, 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 breach. You can get there with 30 to 40 nodes, which would be maybe early yellows for map completion. You buy breach scabs that will cost 1c probably for polished ones early on. That's it. Farm them, sell your breach stones to people that have that are pushing progression and they want to be the first to kill like you know the invitation or whatever you can make loads of money that way i'm sure there's tons of other ways you could go you could go you know expedition although i think expedition works better at red maps you could go legion there's loads of things you can do to make money early on you don't have to get to red maps to make money and that's kind of the way i'll go about league start practice so this time i practiced russian essences I'm going to level another character up next week. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but I will try a totally different strategy for League Start. So I may try the Breach route, actually. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as profitable as Essences, but there are some plus points for Breach. You get the rings, so you can get the special body armor. You get portal gems, which sell for a bit early on. And in general, you just get a lot of mobs in the maps, especially once you get like Flash Breach and all that stuff. So the XP is good. So that's what I'm going to try on my next character. So all I will do is this character is now finished. I'll most likely just delete him and everything that he's got on him because I don't... I may keep the six link because I can simulate buying that later, but essentially I'm probably going to delete the character. Go back to character selection, and then I'll have a brand new fresh SSF account because I've, I've um, migrated it over. And there we go. Start an next character, pick what I want to do, and off I go. And again, get through the campaign, figure out what works, what doesn't, migrate to trade, and then go from there. Um, so that covers off uh, the first video. Next video is probably just going to be a recap of how the Lightning Strike character went, because I have did a few things slightly different to, to the guide last year and leveled certain bits differently. Um, but really, it's just to show how long you can expect to take on each bit to get yourself the first two Void Stones and get cracking on your... Uh, currency farming so that's it for this video going to be a few more coming up on the channel in the next few days hope you stay tuned uh, until then take care and see you in the next video